Well, hello loves, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to the channel. Today I am sharing episode two of my pantry. I am doing a makeover of this pantry and it's going to be done on a budget. So if you're interested in seeing what hubby and I, because he's joining me, what we're doing, just keep on watching. Now, let me share with you the before how my pantry looked before I did the things that I did in it in episode one. It was jam packed full of food and stuff. These shelving units that we picked up from Sam's, they did their job for about seven or eight years, but I'm ready for a change. These shelves are so deep. And the reason I wanted to change the, from these shelving units is because things get lost because the shelving is so deep and things are just thrown in here at this point. So it was time. It was definitely time to make a change in here. So hubby and I rolled everything out. The, those shelving units are on wheels. I painted the space. Uh, the space was like a peach color, and this color is so much better. I actually found paint at the Habitat for Humanities. Wanted to try the paint. Um, it's good. It's okay. Um, especially for this project inside a pantry, it worked. I'm loving the color, which is like a off-white gray tint. Beautiful. It looks amazing. Now I've been seeing the DIY closet pack all over social media and I've seen people making over their clothing closets with bookcases. Well, I want it to be a little different. I want it to work on my pantry. And we picked up, we actually picked up six of these bookcases from Walmart People been using them from Target. Both are pretty much the same size. We also went to Lowe's because I didn't want to just put these bookcases on the floor. We wanted to build a platform to make it look custom like a built-in. So off to Lowe's we went to the lumber department. Uh, we got sidetracked a bit like stay focused hubby we're in here for wood so he's going back over to <laughs> what we had in mind to pick up uh, a couple of pieces of wood and we also picked up trim when you are selecting your wood Make sure it is as straight as possible and not a warped piece. And if you didn't know, Lowe's does cut your wood for you, but hubby decided he will do it himself because we do have a saw at home. So right now we're gonna share with you how easy it is to assemble these bookcases. It took my hubby less than 15 minutes to assemble one bookcase. These are the tools needed and of course hardware is included in the bookcases.
Hubby is taking the feet off of the bookcases because we are going to adhere the bookcases to a platform. Now this tool here is supposed to spare your fingers and help with the millions of little nails that you need to apply to this backing of this backboard or this bookcase. But hubby says it was just easier to use his fingers. He's willing to risk <laughs> his fingers. <laughs> Now let's install the shelves. This is a five shelf bookcase. Now we did measure the space prior to going to purchase the wood, but he's double checking to make sure, also making sure he has the right measurements to cut the wood. Here's one of the platforms that he built for the bookcases out of two by four wood. We thought about pulling out the baseboards but decided not to just in case we decide to sell our home. This is one thing the new home, home owner, excuse me, wouldn't have to replace or redo. The baseboards are still here. Um, we're going to bolt the platform just using a few screws, not that many, but making sure it is stable. We're also going to adhere the bookcase to the platform. The bookcase also comes with a security strap to be applied to the back of the bookcases as well. So we're just doing a dry fit here. Thank you. 
this gap that you see between the bookcases will not be seen because we're going to add trim to make it look like it's one piece or one entire book shelf or bookcase. Now my hubby was so quick that I did not get any footage of him building the platforms. Now I wanted to try another arrangement of the space by moving the refrigerator on the back wall and you'll hear our conversation right now. It's up to you, but once it's down, it's down. I know. Uh... Hmm. I ain't liking it. <laughs> I'm not liking it because I want to be able to. Come on, get in there. You can get in there. You can get up in there. I just did. You don't want to go up here, you only have $6. No, I'm out more than that. <laughs> Those extra shelves you brought. You got 30. Ooh, that refrigerator needs to be clean. Yeah. Anywho. Looks crowded. So what's the plan? Back to the, Back original, to the plan? original plan. All right, there you go. So our original plan was three bookcases on the back wall, two bookcases on the right hand side, and the refrigerator stayed on the left. So right here, hubby is checking to make sure he made all of the proper cuts and he did. So we are good to go. We are using heavy duty liquid nails to adhere the bookcases to the platform.
All five bookcases have been attached to the platforms. Now we are attaching the trim. This will make it appear to be built in and give it a professional look. caulk was applied to fill in any seams or gaps on the baseboard. This is the shelving that was in there prior, which is on wheels, and you see my work is still not done. And right now I'm gonna share with you the amazing transformation of this beautiful pantry. In the comments section below, let me know how much you think this transformation cost us and we'll let you know in the end. Loving the space that I have here to be able to move from one set of shelves to the other. And I still have room here as well on the side of the refrigerator. And I'm loving that. And this little slot here, even with the previous setup, I place trays, large trays in that corner. And here is the refrigerator. And it doesn't bother me that it is coming out into the doorway a bit. Our previous refrigerator, it died. It was a retro red refrigerator. So we had to replace it with this one, but I'm loving this look. So let's start stocking these shelves. I'm going to use what I have in my home. And then if I need anything, then I will go out shopping. These baskets I purchased a while ago from Sam's Club. I purchased these baskets from Home Goods about a year ago, and I'm hoping they have more because I'm going back to look for some. This dispenser I purchased off of Timu. I was planning on using it in my laundry room, but decided to use it in the pantry. I'm bringing in a canned good, or should I say three of them, canned good organizer that I purchased from Walmart. If I can find a similar product to anything that I am using, they will be listed in my description box below. But I love these. 
I've had them for several years now. bringing in several of these glass containers that I found at Ross. And yes, I need to restock some things. I also need to pull out my Cricut Maker to label the rest of my jars. I need to go find one more jar from Ross. So I guess I'll start making my list now of things I want to add to the pantry. Now let's start on these shelves. I have two of these expandable shelving units. I use them for spices, condiments, etc that I will use. I also have one old one, but I, I want everything unified. So I purchased these from Home Goods and we'll go back to Home Goods and look for one more. I'll use my old one for now so I can get everything in place. I have these glass canisters or jars that I picked up last year from Hobby Lobby. They will house cookies and treats. <laughs> So this is how it looks so far, and I'm loving the look. Mm -hmm. 
On the shelf below are items that I could not place on anything as of yet because they are so tall. So I'm panning around my space to see what I need to place in here next. I had my KitchenAid mixer on a rolling cart here in my pantry, which took up a lot of space. I'm over all of a bunch of items. I just want to simplify things. These are the snack baskets that I had on my previous shelving, but they are too large for the new shelving. So, the large baskets I will use somewhere else in my home, but still love the idea of having a snack basket or two. I used to do this in my previous home on my countertop in my kitchen, but I love having it in the pantry. I don't have to have a lot of items on my kitchen countertops. It just works better in here. And my grandson knows exactly where to go. And he calls the pantry anyway, <laughs> the store. <laughs> The snacks being placed in one area. Yay, love it. Now let's take care of my cereal. Now the area to the right of the cereal, I wanna get something there. Don't know yet what I'll do, maybe a turntable. Maybe another basket, we'll see, to contain some things for the cereal. Down below in those black wired baskets, they will house some of our drinks and beverages.
I am going to utilize the space above the cabinets and I'm gonna place some of my small appliances there. And they are still easy to get to when needed. Now this second shelf from the bottom, I know I will change, but for now, I'm placing these expandable shelving units. I think I purchased these from Walmart as well, not sure. So right now I'm gonna share with you what we've accomplished today in the pantry. Again, I need to restock some things. I need to purchase some things that I want to place in here to finish off this space. But I, the main thing I wanted to do is utilize what I had on hand and then go shopping. That is the key to transforming or making over a space. I won't be out in the stores just picking up things that look nice or at free will, I can pick up exactly what I need. Those canister jars, they came from Dollar Tree, do not sleep on Dollar Tree. I plan on placing two more jars along with that set. And down below are our beverages. Another idea, if you have large containers like these, you can place scoops in each and every one of them. And that's what I'm planning to do. On the last shelf, I placed my smaller chafing dishes. My larger chafing dishes will go in the garage on those shelving units that I had previously in here. 
those larger ones will go on the top shelf. This area, I may place a hook on the wall to hold my broom, my mop, etc. And this is my refrigerator that we purchased from Lowe's by Media. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. Um, we love having a refrigerator in our pantry versus the garage. Well guys, let us know what you think about this DIY pantry. And like I said, done on a budget. What would you say we spent in your estimate? Uh, roughly $200. $200 for the bookcases. The trim. And the trim, because the trim was really cheap. And the wood to build the base. Really, really cheap. So around $200, we got a customized pantry, all right? And I am loving it. How about you? Oh yeah, I love it. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. Episode three will pretty much be me restocking my pantry. As you can see, I have jars all around here empty. Um, I wanna buy a few bins and other necessities. And we're going to finish it up. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you are here. And I hope you decide to stay by clicking that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Double click the bell so you'll be notified of all videos that are uploaded on Kimberly Davis of Blessed Home. I can be followed on other social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. I also have an Amazon store where you can shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week for beautiful home decor, home essentials, personal items, and so much more. All of those links can be found in my description box below. If you are a faithful and returning ABH family member, you already know how I feel about you. I love you guys so, so much. And I am truly blessed that you are a part of our amazing family we have here. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you on the very next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there. And I'll talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.